Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. Brandon Lee reminds me of Brandon Reels. He was able to win his fight against Ochoa. Um, he didn't look very impressive. He does show that he has heavy hands. But Brandon Lee, there's no bells and whistles about him. His defense needs work too. Um, Brandon Lee decides to go up against the elite. And when I say elite, I'm not talking about the, the Earl Spence, Terrence Crawfords. But I'll throw in Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman. I'll throw those names in, but I'm talking about for him to bubble up and take on a Imantis Stanionis, who's now the WBA welterweight champion, or for him to even think about fighting a Virgil Ortiz, or even for him to go and bang with, um, he's not elite, but he, he's, he's solid, uh, Riverside Rocky, uh, for him to even go and think about getting there with Ennis. It's not going to happen. Brandon Lee has to work on his defense. He's a basic boxer. And his dad has done a good job with him, teaching him fundamentals, but he just isn't a guy to dip, hook to the body, hook to the head, roll out, change angles, let his hands go. He's just going to come with, you're going to jab, double, triple, quadruple jab, right hand hook, get out the way. He may throw the, he may throw the, the uppercut, hook, come back with a, with a right hand, but he's not doing anything spectacular. And he, his defense is questionable, so when he steps up, which he's going to have to because he's winning. Um, he's going to struggle. And I see, I see Brandon Lee in his next fight, as soon as he steps up against somebody who can really present a challenge and with a little bit of pop, he gets knocked out. I give it two rounds. Brandon Lee won't last. And the only way I give him a chance is if he decides to break lock with his dad. I'm not always for that because I think I like to see the father and son team. But if he's going to make any noise, in the world, especially in the welterweight division, he's going to have to change training. Someone's going to have to show him something. And I'm not saying just totally disregard his dad, but bring, bring another set of eyes in. You know, breathe, breathe some life into your, into your training, into your career. A good person for him to go through since he's right in California, just go to Uncle Freddie, let him put some hands on you. You know, normally when people have a child, right, they're the parent of that child, but the, mother, the uncle, the aunt, the extended family get to love up that child and rub him up and poke him in the belly and make him little sweet things, right? Same thing here. Daddy, hey, you're still the trainer, but let's kind of let Uncle Freddie touch him and love him up a little bit. And then when he come back to you, you have a, a child that's even more refined, more polished, and should be a better career. That's what I think. Because right now, Brandon Lee um, is a solid fighter, but he's not going for it. I, he's not going for it. By, his, by fight 20, he would have lost twice by knockout. And then after that, he's going to be in bad shape. And that's what, I, that's what I predict. He reminds me of Brandon Reels. But the difference with Brandon Reels, he was super tough, and he went to the body. If Brandon Reels hit you to the body, you're out of there. If he landed cleanly, you were out of there. A lot of people learn. Don't mess with Brandon Reels. He can fight. Brandon Lee is not Brandon Reels, but he, he reminds me a lot, a, lot, a lot of him because of his style. But he's going to have to find somebody, maybe even Robert Garcia, because he's used to getting fighters like that, heavy-handed, who come forward, kind of basic. And uh, Robert Garcia can take him and show him things and make, and make him a more complete fighter. And that's what Brandon Lee needs because I'm telling you, as soon as he steps up, man, it's over. He's out of here, man. I'm telling you, he's just going to be a gatekeeper. And he's too young to take those kind of losses. Not everybody can take two, three losses, disappear for two years, and come back and be fighting for three belts like your Danish Yugas. It's just not like that. He's not your Danish Yugas. And um, I just think he needs a – but like your Danish Yugas – he needs to find a trainer who can really bring the best out of him and get him to perform to his potential. If not, he's a he's a sitting duck and somebody's gonna um, somebody's gonna smoke him. May even make roasted duck out of him, you know what I mean? But anyway, that's my two cents on Brandon Lee. Good fighter, nice kid, very basic, not much defense. If you're gonna get in with the elite or just any, any of these gatekeepers, you're gonna have to figure it out because that basic, you know, jab, right hand, three. Not even putting the uppercut behind it, man, but just that basic one, two, three, that basic triple jab, right hand, coming behind a high guard. That, that's not going to get it, man. I'll get you through your first set of tomato cans, first 10 to 11 tomato cans, but for you to get to that next level, man, you're going to have to figure it out. So leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about Brandon Lee. I'm not trying to bad talk any fighter. I like to build champions, not break them down. I'm just keeping it real. This is my perspective, man. And for him to go further, he's going to need to bring someone else in besides Pops who can um, give him a few tricks, a few more bells and whistles, and then I think he can do something because he can't teach 
heavy hands. He can't teach how to hit hard. He naturally has that. That being said, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Shout out to all the veterans. And you already know, I'm in the breeze.